guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episodes 22 and 23 of Yes, Pretty Cure 5. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 22 and 3, 2, 1, go. Milky. Oh, okay. And you will be reliable. <laughs> you don't have to be mean. If they fight like this, because, oh God, once again, it's been a while since I've seen this damn show. It, it might be worse once she becomes a human. <laughs> but honestly, I just, I love it when the girls argue. Because, one, it is drama. Your girl loves drama and such. But it, it's just, it, mm, it kind of bonds them in a way, kind of. I mean... And it's typical, you know, in your friend group, whether it's a group of guys, group of girls, co-ed, whatever, you are specifically going to have a couple of people in your friend group who is going to argue with someone else, no matter the fuck what. Everybody is going to, like, have a moment where one of your friends, you're not going to agree with one of your friends or one of your friends isn't going to agree with you. And that is okay. There's nothing wrong with having an argument with your friend that just, you know, deepens your bond a little bit better. Um, sometimes it can work and make your friendship better and sometimes, you know, it, it ends a friendship. But it's just about getting everybody's opinion in. So, yeah. <laughs> uh. Poor baby. Poor milk. Milky, milky, milky rose. You sure? Why don't you just go, you know? Yeah. Her baby. She wants to be useful. Because, yeah, you can't be seen. Poor baby. Yeah, because you know the best time to go to a store is when some sales on. Oh my god. Mm. Like, do not take me to Bath and Body Works when it's a sale. <laughs> <laughs> or if it's like anime merch. <laughs> I buy too much.
noodles. Noodles. Well, unfortunately, Milky, you can't really help. Oh, God, what are you thinking? Unfortunately. Huh? But Milky, someone might buy you. But that's not being useful. Mm -hmm. Because if you possibly would have done that, the representation or really anything about this place would have gone down. And then what are what are what is everyone gonna do? You're gonna be screwed. Yes, but you don't have to always be brutally hard on her. I mean, yes, it was an accident. Sometimes she doesn't think before she does, and I get that. She needs to know that there are consequences. She's still a baby. And so no one sees her run away. Mm.
Yeah, she 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 dipped. Like her cute little suitcase for baby. Yeah, you'll be useful for her. <laughs> Once again, at the worst possible time when you are looking for someone, something happens. But don't worry, if you follow that trail, you'll find Milky. So, how are we going to... Oh, okay, never mind. Hmm? You sure you should transform first? Uh. You know, never been around jellyfishes as much of the times I've lived here in Florida. I've never seen a jellyfish, except, you know, at the zoo, right? Never want to touch one either. Mm mm. Uh, okay, no, no, no. Time out. We <laughs> no.
See, you're not wrong about that. <laughs> I mean, because she got upset because of what, you know, Nuts and Coco had said, took it to heart too much, and ran away from home. Of course. He was just treating her, like, te not treating, teaching her a lesson that, yes, sometimes, you know, you make a mistake, but your mistakes have consequences. Exactly. You really think because they capture and everything, you're just gonna go ahead and hand this thing to you? Nah. <laughs> Yeah, so what else can you do now, Missy? Nothing. <laughs> oh, that's the same color, guys. Aww. Well, of course. I mean, come on. A sale? Who, <laughs> who in the right mind ain't gonna pass on a sale? <laughs> oh, hi, honey. Oh, of course she's going to eat it up. <laughs> C 
See, of course, she's just eating it all up. So, really, did Milky Rose learn something this week? <laughs> she did, but then at the same time, she didn't. You know what I forgot to say about her last week? And, and even now seeing it in this week's. She, oh God. Milky Rose, milk. Uh, she gives me hella chibi Yusa vibes. Except the fact is, you know, the, the big difference is, you know, uh, milk did not, you know, fall in love with someone who, you know, is her parent in this like that. Like, chibi Yusa did. Because, oof. But, um... <laughs> yeah, because funny enough, like, let's talk about Sailor Moon real quick. Uh, ever since the movie came out, since the turtle came out at the beginning of this month, everybody who has only, who has not read the damn manga, who <laughs> was only sitting here watching Eternal and Eternal only and talking about, you know, even when, like, the 90s version and the old ver and the newer version of Crystal came out and how she is in love with her father and such. And, and it's like, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, yeah. It, but, like, remember, because she also ends up dating, you know, my other love of my life, Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, Helios. And she's supposed to be, like, 900 years old, and he's, like, 12,000 years old and such. And, and it's so funny how, like, people are so upset about that. I mean, because, yeah, me looking at it, too, as someone who read the manga years ago and such, but they're older. They're not, like, like yeah, she's older, but she's a little kid in it. But, yeah, going back to what I was saying, dead ass, like, oh. Well, that's a creepy smile. Oh, that gives me all dramatic adoring me vibes. Cute. Continuing, as I said. Um, shit, no. I <laughs> don't remember. We were talking about, uh, say the moment. Okay. So, yeah, Chibi Yusa, like, no, no, no. Mil milk being, like, very similar to Chibi Yusa. Because, like, yeah, milk is very, like, bossy. In a way, ever since she's been in this show, and I don't remember if she is like that going into her human form and then being officially our final cure for Go Go, essentially. But like you can see, her and knows me argue so freaking much, just like Chibiusa and um, Usagi, because like those two will argue and bicker back and forth, back and forth. Because yeah, mother daughters, and of course we're always going to argue with our our, our family members. That's what it is at the end of the freaking day. But at the same time, like, the differences of what I said, and there are times where, especially in this episode, where she feels like, okay, everybody was a little bit too hard on me. That's th There's a couple of times where I think in Sailor Moon it's kind of the same thing, especially when the birth of Black Lady or Wicked Lady um, is shown in how Wiseman, like, shows her all these things, like, oh, hey, like, you were always by yourself, your parents hated you, um, everybody hated you, no one cared about you, and they always treated you like crap, and you can very see that almost in this outfit, outfit, episode, but everybody was being a tough critic to Milk, saying that if you did this, think about the consequences, and of course, Milk is not going to see the consequences, as young as or whatever her age is she's not always going to think about this is that and the third almost like okay yeah your consequences have actions and of course if you do this this is going to happen and she's learned the value of a lesson like okay if i do this this might happen but then at the same time you know uh, what's her face writing an article about her in this episode and being featured in the end 
it, it's almost at the same time. Milk was like, oh, this lesson I just learned? Oh, screw that lesson. This is all I care about. Yada, yada, yada. This is that and the third. Because, of course, she's a boss-ass bitch and she gives no fucks. <laughs> like, straight up, no matter what. But, yeah. <laughs> just the cutest little thing. I love her so much. Even though sometimes, like, I can relate to her and then sometimes she pisses me the hell off. But go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 23. Alrighty, episode 23 in 3, 2, 1, go. Excuse me. <laughs> Those mean are you okay? Not really. I mean, it's easy. You guys! Nice job. Oh. <laughs> But it is also her fault. It's not only knows it means, though. Exactly. You need to listen to her side of the story and let her explain. Damn, everybody getting into a fight. Whoa. He's right, though. But I am loving that, you know, everybody got into a fight today because, ooh, the whole group of a pretty good fight. Usually it's just one or two, maybe three, but, like, the whole group, like, oh. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Tropical Rouge, y'all need to step up. <laughs> Once again, we're gonna always have people argue. We're gonna have girlfriends, guy friends, co ed. We gonna argue over something. At the time, you know, especially, you know, oh God, at the age that I am too, even as a teenager, if I got into an argument with one of my girlfriends or one of my guy friends, of course, like, either I. I maybe blew it up for fortune, but then I had a guy or a girlfriend who would blow, blow it up way more than me. And then you would see, like, oh my god, like, what the fuck are we fighting over? Are we really fighting over some petty BS thing? Oh god. Mm -hmm. And then YouTube drama. Some of the, the BS that I have with YouTube itself, or even the Twitter drama. <sighs> Lord. Terminated? Oh. Oh. 
Oh, but it's going to cost you your life, all right? Mm -hmm. You just show them the biggest nightmares. Biggest fears. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. Because you were playing around and running away from her. <sighs> Let me guess, you five not sitting together? Of course. Yeah. Here you are. Mm -hmm. And guess what? It's okay if girlfriends fight. It's fine. It happens. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Oh, it's like a keychain. That's cute. You just gotta take the first step. Mm. Oh. Oh. 
Oh God. They didn't even stand a chance. Because she's you. Mm. It's like that one Sailor Moon manga portion of episode. Woo! Because it happened in Eternal where like they went against like their true selves like oh no you shouldn't do this anymore. Oh that's so cute. That's just plain scary. Woo, God. Mm -mm, nope. Woo, that is some horrible nightmare that I would never want to experience. Like, having someone experience their worst, deep, dark fears and nightmares, like, oh, that's so not cool. Just two more. Well, damn, Ren. <laughs> oh. Didn't have to be rude. Exactly. You just.
Well, this is from that night. I just don't have time for friends. Oh, no, 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 ma'am. You don't have time for that. You can only choose one. And we got six minutes left. So, um, I think this episode will be ending on a cliffhanger this week. It's too dangerous. I 
and she gonna call anyway. Oh, hard head make a soft behind. Oh, Jesus. How many minutes we got left? We got three minutes. Probably technically even two. Of course, she's going to have to do it all on her own. I ain't going to say this is the darkest episode of Pretty Care, but it's probably one of many dark moments. Because, it, it, oh God, I can't believe I'm comparing to Sailor Moon again. Okay, this is big, big spoilers for like the final series or arc of the Sailor Moon series. This is for stars, specifically what happens to... All of the guardians, except like you know the asteroids and yeah 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 yeah. This is that and the third. Okay, there's a point where all of the inner and all the outer guardians, their star seeds get taken away and such, and so they kind of get reborn, but still into their super outfits and ish like that, and they have to go against Eternal Sailor Moon, and it's one of the most like emotional moments in the manga because of the fact is. Because Sailor Moon loves um, the Outer Guardians and the Inner Guardians oh so much, it's hard for her to see herself going against them. It's kind of like, okay, remember, oh my god, movie R, um, where <laughs> Ray was like, you know, fight him, don't worry about us, and da 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 and because Usagi is Usagi, and because she cares so much about her friends, she gets so upset if something bad happens to them. And we're going to see that next week, but it's going to be nose of me, because of the fact is, yes, having four people who you love oh so much, it's going to hurt. It's annoying. And nobody wants that. But yeah, of course, I kind of wish I kind of watched 22 by itself and watched 23 and 24 together, but no, it's okay. It's all right. It's all right. You know, it is what it is. What a float your boat. But okay, can we talk about the Nozomi Coco moment right there? Oh, once again, I ship it even though, you know, they can't be together like that because, oh, but it's so cute. Like, you know, oh my God. Anime boys. Anime boys. Mm. <laughs> Well, not boys. Anime men. Anime men. Because just like, oh, God, you just can't with them, but you love them oh so much. But like, oh, they look so cute. But I'm not ready to see this next episode once again because I, I think I remembered, like, being very butthurt about 23 and 24 because it, to me, I think it was one of the most saddest moments. And especially, like, even in any pretty cure serious hell I think it was the second movie for Futariwa and, and I, I I think about a couple of months ago I reposted it um or I posted it on my Twitter and saying like the fight between Cure Black and Cure White 
still hurts me even to this day because they're best friends. And a lot of people do shift those two together because they're just so freaking cute. And that figure of them in wedding dresses, like, I want that figure, but that figure is expensive. Like, oh my god, effing expensive. But when you see those two under the, um the bad guy's control of that movie and them having to fight each other and such it hurts so much when one of them is under the control and then eventually both of them are but then at the same time when white is like saying you know care black's name nagisa and it hurts so freaking much and she's like i don't want i'm just like i don't want to do this when you look at her face and when she's crying and you're just like oh my god like my shipping babies like I can't with this ship. I love them so much. But like, oh my god, I hate when you get into moments where you have to have a comrade fight against you because you love and care for them so freaking much. And you know Nozomi loves and cares for these four girls oh so much. So it's gonna hurt and impact like hella harder and such. When it's an argument between them, when it's like they're fighting, it is okay. But when it's like fist fighting and they don't realize that they're doing it of course it's gonna hurt so much more but we ain't gonna have to we don't really know how badly it's gonna be until next week but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episodes 22 and 23 of yes pretty cure 5 if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next friday for patreons and next monday for everybody else for episodes 24 and 25 bye guys